Hey, welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. Tonight, I want to talk about the process of obtaining health insurance. How to obtain health insurance. And this is going out to a subscriber of mine by the name of Q Wilson. So here it goes. First of all, you have to know what type of health insurance you want. And with Obamacare, you have what we call health exchanges out here, or health insurance exchanges. So you have to enroll in those exchanges. Now, you get the better deal if you are on subsidies. Now, health insurance is also sponsored by your employer. When you get it from an employer, it's going to be cheaper because the employer is paying part of the premium and you're paying the other half of the premium because it's usually 50% and employers must provide 50% for the tax write-off. So going back into the marketplaces, you have your federal marketplace and you have your state marketplace. Now, I'll give you an example. Federal marketplace is basically subsidized by the federal government where the state subsidizes its own. Now, most of the states in the country are under the federal marketplace. I live in Indiana, so Indiana is one of the states that are covered. Brother Q. Wilson, you live in Georgia. That's also under the federal marketplace. Now, you have states such as New York and Maryland and Massachusetts. They have their own marketplace. This is where Romney Care and Obamacare develop his policy or his program from Romney Care in Massachusetts. Romney provided health insurance for all of the citizens in Massachusetts. It's a massive program. Now, can a program work? Certainly it can work if it's run correctly cut out the fat when you put programs in. But let me stay on topic. When you are looking for insurance, you must, number one, we've already gone over the marketplace. Find out where your state is. Number two, you have to look at the type of insurance you want. There's a HMOs, the PPOs, EPOs and point of services. Now basically for your HMOs you must be referred by a specialist because you have to stay within your network. Now for your PPOs you have more providers but it's going to be more expensive for your PPOs. Your HMOs and your POSs are going to be cheaper but your EPOs and your PPOs, they're going to be more expensive. Now, along the lines, you have HSAs, which are health savings accounts. This is where some of the monies that you make, particularly if you are employed, are going to be deducted from your payroll and into a what we call a fund. It's a health savings account. Now, what that HSA can do is cover the deductible. Because when you look at plans, you have to look at deductibles. And your bottom of the barrel plan roughly has a three to five thousand dollar deductible. That being said, you must compare plan types. That's right. And what I mean again, your HMOs. HMOs and POS is point of services. Again, and there's a slight difference between those two. Basically, with an HMO, you have doctors or specialists, and they refer you to someone outside the network. Where you have your POS, the doctor handles everything for you. Your test, a lot of your other lab work. Then you have your HMOs, again, HMOs and your PPOs. 
because those are the most common that we heard of because if you work, your PPOs are going to be more expensive, but you have more providers to deal with because you can go outside and network. That means if I have a doctor here in Indiana and something happens to me in Ohio, I have a PPO and it's basically Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Now with your HMO, you have to have a family doctor. Go see the physician first or your family doctor and then they're going to refer you out of the network to somebody. Whereas when you get down to your EPOs, EPOs which are your executive plans, there aren't any providers. They're also lower costs as well. And your POSs, the doctor coordinates everything. Again, your laboratory test, your blood work, which is essentially laboratory test checkups. But that being said, what I've given you right there are plans. So you must compare all of your plans to see what you really need. Because a lot of times, depending on your age, the younger you are, the less insurance you need. And this is crucial because, to be honest, with the way Obamacare works, the younger folk are really paying for the older folk because the older folk need it more because they're high risk. The younger folk don't need it. And this is where we had a debate about the Obamacare. So, but this is what we have for right now. But also, let me add something else to you. For anybody who is looking for one of the health insurance exchanges, if you have employer-sponsored insurance that you're utilizing, that the employer picks up half and you pick up the other half and you want to exchange, certainly you can get one, but it's going to cost you more. But this is why I said the Obamacare doesn't work for people who already have it. Because if you have the subsidies, like if you're on welfare or any other type of government program, you're going to benefit. Because you really aren't putting anything into health insurance. You're receiving everything. But this is not about welfare. This is about the process on how to obtain insurance whether you're an individual or business. You also have to compare networks. What do you have in a network and out of your network? So you have to utilize the resources right there. What is going to benefit you? Now, Brother Q. Wilson, you are a truck driver, so my humble opinion would be for you to go out of that network because it's going to be cost effective for you. As truck drivers who are over the road, they tend to get sick because they run into a lot more of the elements than somebody who is basically around their own home for the most part. Now, there are exceptions to the rule. The big one, out-of-pocket costs. This is where you start to get into the deductibles. And when you look at deductibles, each plan has a deductible. And it's usually the plan that has the lowest cost but the highest deductible. And you also have to look at the fees when you go in. 15 20 25 dollars those are all added in there but if you're really going to make a good deal with health insurance have a health savings account as well so to go over everything again here's the process of obtaining insurance whether you're a business or an individual Number one, find a 
marketplace, whether you're in a state that has a federal marketplace or a state marketplace. Number two, compare health types or health plan types. Do you want a BPO, a HMO, a EPO, or POS? Number three, networks. Are you going to be around your area where you reside? If you are, I would go with being inside a network. Now, if you're traveling, particularly like a truck driver, or if you're a pilot, somebody that's not home regularly, I would go out of the network because it has more providers. Number four, look at the out-of-pocket costs, the deductible. And when you put everything together, you will have an idea of what is best for you. Now, I'm giving you the process right now, but even if it does change, and even prior to Obamacare, you still had to find the best plan for you at the lowest cost. So again, I hope I have given you all the information that you needed. Brother Q. Wilson, and again, if anybody else needs any information, let me know about it. And I will Put it in video form, or I'll give it to you on Blog Talk Radio. And at the end of the day, I just want to tell you, I'm always happy to help people. Because the information that I provide you all is free. And that's this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show for Thursday. December 8th, 2016. You can tune into the 401 Talk Zone radio show every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215-383-5785. And if you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now on this channel, I don't engage in emotional or controversial topics, nor do I participate in drama or unnecessary bickering. So please be respectful and positive because this is a channel geared to educate because knowledge is power. Also, if you have a business or topic, just like Brother Q. Wilson had. If you'd like me to discuss it on YouTube and Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. Please feel free to comment, and I do like comments. I do read them. But here's the key. Got to make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating or petty fogging if you wish to apply. And also, if you're looking for any other content, particularly in the social issues, if you click the links under my Twitter and Facebook, I have a list of other brothers and some sisters channels like Angry Man, Minister Jab, Rashawn DeLay, Ringo TV Raw, Matt Cole. You can check out their information as well. Subscribe to their channels. Because particularly in the African American sector of YouTube, regardless of the disagreements that brothers have on YouTube, we don't have a big media conglomerate that we can air out our grievances. grievances. So we use them right here on YouTube. So make sure... You subscribe to these brothers' channels because they need your support just like I need your support. 
And at the end of the day, we can build our own media platform. And that's all I have to say with this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be respectful and gentle to one another. Have a wonderful and blessed night and good night.